mitochondria is the Swedish field cook set. It's been around for generations and absolutely has stood the test of time. It's an all time classic. So let's take a look at this iteration, the mini Trangia version. Straight out of the box, what I really like about it is the saucepan lid is firm on top of it. So it's all held together in one compact package. It weighs 360 grams. The saucepan is a 0.8 of a litre. It's got the burner, a handle, and a windshield stroke burning platform. Pop off the lid stroke saucepan. This acts as a lid for the uh, saucepan and also it's a non-stick frying pan. Uh, so they recommend you keep this piece of plastic in there so it doesn't get scratched by the other components when it's packed away. Anybody that's ever done a bit of uh, camp cooking knows that your frying pans can really get uh, uh, bunged up with grease and so on and so forth. So it's good to have the non-stick option. Here is the burner, the burning platform, and which also acts as a type of windshield. The burner itself, the brass burner, is the time-honoured design, and this will literally last you multiple lifetimes. I myself have my old trusty one, which is from the early 80s, still going as strong as the day it was uh, first manufactured. Absolutely a classic design. The burner itself is this main component, which is where you actually put the fuel and the lights from. Then you also get the snuffer plate, which can be used to adjust the size of your flame. You basically open or close this as required and put it on top and then that will adjust the size of the flame. When you then want to completely extinguish uh, the flame, you'll close it up completely and then pop it on top. This does not screw on. Be careful that this is the actual, the tight cap and inside here is a rubber o-ring do not put this on the burner when you've just used the burner because the burner will be hot and you'll melt that o-ring and then uh, your fuel will leak out quite simply but you can if you if that ever happens and it does happen to everybody who ever uses a transger you can quickly purchase uh, easily purchase new o-rings and this is a tight fit so when you've got this full of fuel you can keep this in your pack without the fuel leaking out to start to cook, you put the burner in there. I've already filled it, but you fill it up with the recommended fuel type. And then it's as simple as to light it with matches or cigarette lighter. And it does burn with a virtually invisible flame depending on the, well, it depends on the type of fuel, but this fuel that I'm using will burn with a nearly invisible flame. So be aware of that. There's a small lightweight handle. Grasp the edge of a pan like this. Also functions equally well on the saucepan. In this case, I'm going to be boiling up some water. About a third of a litre. Because I'm going to be enjoying some freeze dried camp food. This is a saucepan stroke lid, so to speed up the boil time, put it on as a lid. You can put it on that way round, or that way round. It's not a real big deal. When finished, it's a simple job. Pack it all back in the saucepan. Why not throw in a lighter so you know everything's in one place next time you want to cook. The transit system is just a complete winner because as you've seen, there's absolutely nothing in this package which can actually break or wear out. It's just tough metal material all round, packs near in a small package. It doesn't rattle a lot, so it's not gonna annoy you when you're moving. Total winner, 100% thumbs up.